My name is Kelly Starrett, and I build leopards. What do I mean? A leopard has full physical capacity, has full ability to express its pure leopard nature instantaneously. It doesn't have to warm up, it doesn't have to practice, it's a leopard. If we gave people their full capacities, if they understood that they had the right to change and control and could manage all those things and become leopards, man, the world would be a different place. My name is Carl Powley. I'm a strength and conditioning coach and I specialize in human movement and performance. I have been obsessed with human performance and the limits of human performance as early on as a kid as I can remember. And first time I met Carl Pally, I knew he was a special person. I saw that here was a guy who had a deep understanding of sort of how to move through life and space a little bit different than the average bear. And in two seconds, I literally pulled him aside and was like, who are you? What's your background? I have to know you. And as soon as we talked, it was like gasoline and fire. Through physical performance and physical education, we can create a way of living that will allow you to be able to make better decisions throughout your whole life and be able to apply things to whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. And I think that's where Kelly and I really come together. You're designed to be 110 years old. We have a fundamental idea that if we've got your nutrition sorted out, your hydration, you sleep enough, and then we add in this extra piece, this human movement component. And uh, it's our mission to be able to uh, kind of pull all these disparate fields together and show people that they can live a more fulfilled life. We had to really kind of bear down on what it is we're doing right now. We are in the middle of a human epoch. It's a renaissance in performance and nutrition. It's a renaissance in movement and movement theory. We have disparate communities tearing down the silos and sharing information for the first time, maybe ever. And that's when you realize that all these fitness professionals are all going in the same direction. You know, it's not that people haven't taken this on and tried to improve the human condition for centuries. I mean, people have been working on the same sets of problems for a long time. But for the first time, we have the tools and the media and the technology and the friendships. We feel like we can get it right. Anyone in the world has made someone else feel better. And I think that's how we really measure human performance. You can't really put a number on it. It's, do I feel better, same, or worse? And you always want to try to feel better. That's what a fitness professional does. And if you can keep doing that, you will be successful. The most important thing to remember, if you're a hardworking coach, you're never going to be as pretty as Carl. I understand.